So I'm going to call the Capital Improvement Planning Committee meeting to order at 5.08 p.m. Uh, meetings normally held at the municipal offices are being held remotely with adequate alternative means of public access and where required public participation provided in accordance with the governor's March 12th, 2020 order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, MGL chapter 30, a section 20 meetings are typically broadcast on frontier community access television. Uh, for those who uh, want to join us, you can join us uh, either on, on Zoom um, with the link provided in the agenda or um, by calling 312-626-6799. Uh, um, and uh, all participants should be muting their phone, star six for landlines, unless asking a question or commenting. All right, so it uh, looks like we've got everyone here. Um, what we uh, are going to do first is just... Um, review the uh, the minutes. Um, does anyone have anything that they would like to say about the minutes from, from last week? Um, I would just like to say thank you, Skip, and I would also like to make a motion to approve them. I'll second that. So motion and a second. Any debate or discussion? Nope. Well done. All right. So um, we'll just uh, do a roll call vote here. So um, all those in favor, starting with Carolyn Ness? Yes. 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 Carolyn, yes. Uh, Den Denise Mason? Yes. Uh, Skip Olmstead? Yes. Mark Brennan? Yes. All right. So that passes unanimously for zero zero. Who? Who? Uh, the motion was made by Carolyn and yeah. seconded by Denise. All right. So uh, all we have left to do right now is uh, finish our prioritization uh, from from last week. So. Uh, or from uh, our, yeah, I think it was it last week. I don't, I don't even know. <laughs> uh, so we we got through all the ones and twos, and I, I think we have a um, a three on here as well. Um, so just to uh, I guess pick up where we left off, um, just kind of going down the list on on Casey's updated sheet. Thank you very much, Casey, for updating that. Um, what we have next are the uh, tennis courts. Okay. Uh, this is being presented. I, I just wanted to explain a little bit what happened. Um, the application didn't get into the CPC committee, but the select board last night voted to ask the CPC to please consider it because it is our understanding that the other three towns are using their CPC money and it's going through their um, process for CPC. So if we whether we voted or not, we're going to have to pay our share. And we would like this, the select board would like this to come from us, you know, our um, Community Preservation Act money, uh, which is already set aside versus adding this to the raise and appropriate separate pot. Okay. Um, and, and when does CBC meet again? Do you know? I actually don't know. Okay. I don't know that. So the board authorized me to send a memo to that effect. I've been running around doing meeting fallout after the select board meeting because there's some budget things that I've been working with a couple of people on. So I'm planning to send that memo request out to CPC. Um, one thing that came up as a question that was relayed through the chair of CPC was uh, addressing late applications. And CPC has done that in the past several times. Right, Carolyn? Yes. Uh, yeah. When we've had land preservation um, requests, because it's whenever we have to act on it and and confirm that we are doing some kind of match, um, that usually has to happen in a timely manner. So there is precedence that CPC has to consider um, applications out of the deadline. And to Carolyn's point, all the other towns are funding through CPC. So we're we're going to be forced to pay for it anyway. Exactly. So it's it's also the other the other issue is that it it messes up every other town because the school can't take uh you know CPA money from one town and not all towns. Just the way the article is set up, it's a huge it's a huge mess if we can't get this through CPA. It messes up the whole project. Yeah. So Super important. Basically, we're asking CPC um, um, to please consider that. Yes. Casey, you had your hand up? 
I did. Can uh, Skip, can you move the microphone closer? Nobody can hear you. <laughs> I haven't said anything. <laughs> yeah, but you did before. <laughs> Thank you. You'll hear me when I speak. <laughs> All right. Hi, Ken. Hi, Ken. Hello. Hey. Sorry to be late. No worries. I, I don't know how long I'll be able to stay, but <laughs> I'll try. We know. She thinks it's March 25th or 29th that they're meeting. Okay. So who's going to be there to present this? The the, C, the CPA one? Yeah. Uh, I'd go and I would have, I know Darius would go. Uh, okay. I would encourage like everybody go. Anybody that's interested in getting this project done, all the people that are interested in the pickleballs, everybody who uses, you know, Frontier. We have no athletic fields, uh, no right. adult athletic, you know, exercise equipment in Deerfield. Mm -hmm. Everybody uses Frontier's track. Frontier tennis courts, pickleball courts. So it's it's vital that we get this done. Well, Kevin Brennan wrote that letter. Yep. Great. So, to, so would someone here get in touch? Do you want me to get in touch sure, with them? Sure, you can. Okay. Yeah, I'll get in touch. great. So that, what day um, are they meeting? The 29th? She said either the 25th or the 29th. I just asked Lily. Yeah, well... In terms of this committee's scope, I mean, it, right. it really it really is on the school to go to their own meeting. Mm -hmm. um, so That's correct. In, in terms of, you know, what we do for this, um, do, do we do we have a motion for recommending, um, you know, the the tennis court replacement? And I would I meet. would make that motion to recommend the tennis court renovations, um, our share, the Deerfield share of the renovations. And it be paid for by the CPC money. I'll second that. All right. So this is money that would come out of the CPA funds. Mm -hmm. That is correct. Or I guess we're we're making our recommendation based upon it coming out of the CPA funds, right? Yes. Bang. Right. Okay. And and typically, uh, that's usually handled by the CPC entirely. Uh, the finance committee and the capital improvement committee don't get involved with uh, or haven't gotten involved with no. CPA funding. As they shouldn't. Right. <laughs> well, the reason I think, Skip, that it is a problematic is because the other three towns are going to fund it through the CPC. And so it is moving forward. So we have to pay for it one way or the other. And, and the reason why we're recommending the C, CPC money is because, as Trevor says, it's a lot cleaner to make sure it gets done, but we're going to have to pay for it anyway. So well, if, I, if I heard Trevor correctly, uh, if we use uh, free cash or an appropriation, the other towns need to do the same thing. So mm -hmm. it's going to mess everything up. Yep. So we really do need to get CPA to funding. Oh, I thought the purpose of saying, you know, making the recommendation based upon CPA funds was to prioritize it higher if we're going to use CPA funds and prioritize it lower if we're not going to use CPA funds. Right. We wouldn't recommend it because we don't have any money for capital anyway. Yeah, I mean, well, I, in, yeah. In, in my mind, it's a it's a it's it's a five if there's no CPA funds. And if if there is if there are CPA funds, then it's a different number. Right, except we're going to be forced to pay for it one way or the other because it's if three towns vote to to pay for it, then we are forced to pay for it anyway, Mark. Okay, so it doesn't have to be unanimously approved by all all towns. No, no, no. no. You have okay. to have a majority of the towns okay. approving it, and one thing that could be considered here is the fact that and trevor i think can back me on this because i think it was trevor that told me this um they don't <laughs> use those courts for tournament games because they're not a lot of the schools that would come to a tournament think they're unsafe right trevor they are yeah okay. they stop so there's actually a safety issue here too yeah and this is not rehabilitation this is a rebuild right ken uh, I can't answer that. I'm not on the Frontier Committee. A hundred thousand seems maybe a little low for a rebuild, but uh, it's yeah. There's thought uh, it was a repair. What's that? The, school, the school's paying the other 
majority. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. That's correct. The, the hundred thousand is the town's share and the school is paying for the remainder. I think it's about a quarter million dollar project. Yeah, that's is correct. being paid with uh, capital funds. That's right. Uh, from their capital reserves. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. I, I so, well, then that. that's another reason that we should be supporting this through C CPC funds because um, it's it's matching funds. Right. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm going to give the floor yeah. to Denise. I just found out it is March 29th, 6.15. It's on Zoom. I will get in touch with Kevin Brennan and tell him who's ever interested in attending to talk about the pickleball court and whatever to be there. Then it's up to them, who, whomever. So it's just just Zoom or yeah, just Zoom. Yes, and it, it's it's posted online. So, yeah, they may want to write a letter too. Yeah, write Denise. a letter. Okay, I'll send Kevin it. Brennan, and send it to who did they send it to? Alan Alan Swedlin, or you know, Alan Swedlin is the chair. I okay. think I'll have to get his address. Okay, I'll I'll do that. Yeah, well, um, I guess moving back to our committee's responsibility here. So uh, we've got um, we've got a, a, a motion to recommend uh, that is also seconded, and then yeah. um, you know, I, I, I guess uh, does it, anyone else have any other debate or discussion on on that? No, the only reason I'm doing it is so that it's paid for by CPA. I know it's not a responsibility, but I'm going <laughs> to yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah get it off our plate. Yep. Okay. Do, do we assign a, pri a, a a priority to it with CPA funds of two or whatever? Um, how do we do this last week? Did did we did we do priorities and then motions or motions and then priorities? I don't remember. <laughs> we, did. we did priorities. We did priorities. We did priorities and then recommendation motions for the the. Oh, okay, so I'm I'm for a certain clump of this. Okay. We All right. It. Well, I guess um, you know, just for for this one, let's just uh, in the discussion phase here. Um, do, does anyone um, have uh, an opinion on the priority? I would put it as as a two, just for that very reason. Because if we don't get CPA funds, then it can't. Then we'd have to pay for it out of pocket. If the rest of the we can't. We can't. Okay. Right. Then it would hold up the whole thing. So I'd put it as a two. So if we're setting priorities, uh, you're going to move it. I'll second. Okay. Well, no, we don't. Need, I don't think we need a motion for that. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so anyone else have any opinions? Or are we good with two? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. Um, so um, we'll, we'll do a, a vote here. So uh, all those in favor, Carolyn Shores Ness. Yes. Uh, Denise Mason. Yes. Skip Olmstead. Yes. Mark Brennan. Yes. So four zero zero. Uh, and we chose to prior. Oh, sorry, Ken's Ken Cutterback. Yes, <laughs> Ken Cutterback's yes. So we have five zero zero. Sorry, Ken. No, um, don't be sorry. I'm, I'm uh, fully understanding. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we have a recommendation here. Um, all right. So I, I, uh, I think we should go back to what we were doing um, last week, which was doing the priorities first and then making the motions. Right. So. Um, I think in terms of things that don't have a priority, I just want to go through this. We've got the building inspection software. We have the uh, Ford F-350. And the John Deere loader, actually, that needs a motion still. Um, and then we also have the uh, ambulance that still needs a motion. And then... I think that's pretty much it. So yeah, the priorities I think are just uh, on on everyone's new revised sheet here. Just calling attention to that, I, I think that we just need priorities for the, uh, the the two remaining items on the first page: building inspection, and permitting software, and the uh, Ford F three fifty replacement. So to do priorities. Yeah, let's let's do priorities. So okay. on the building inspection, permitting software, any thoughts on priorities for this one? I'd give that a two. You think this might be a safety and health? For which? I don't, you know. Uh, for the permitting software. Oh. Is that mental health or uh, health yeah. health? I think it's essential for moving the town forward because. Mental health. 
<laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, mental health and nutrition, you know, people get up to their ears. It's horrible. No, it's, you end up it's... losing people. You end up spending a lot of money hiring new people. Yeah. So. Um, Ken, did you want to speak? Oh. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I sort of said it facetiously, but I, I can I can see where there's, you know, an element of let's reduce stress, et cetera. Um, and what what would the the top rating if it's not safety related is what three operational importance which i mean i i personally think it's probably more there i mean like you it's, know it's, think... it's yeah to me it's a, it's paramount operational yeah and in in my estimation does have you know almost an overlap into two um, but it definitely, I mean, from my perspective, would be the top, should be the top priority for the town. Well, except for the, uh, the highway safety, obviously, with, mm -hmm. you know, trucks that can salt and sand and plow in the, in the wintertime. But, um, yeah, I, I, I think there's no more important capital request on the docket this year than to get this thing going. Um, the, the town really needs it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm just thinking about the town coffers for a second here. You know, we've we've got some what, like the the standard dump body, for instance, like that that's going to fall off at some point, and that that's right. That, that's a safety issue that I I think is probably a little a little higher up in priority. I, I guess like, or to 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 try and articulate what I what I mean in a different way is when when we go to present this to the select board and to the finance committee, um, and for for many of us, we're just taking one head off and putting another one on. Um, but when we go to do that, we're going to have to try and help those folks understand, you know, what the different priorities are. And if everything's right. a flat priority, it's going to be difficult to do. Yeah. Um, do, do you have something you want to say, Denise? Yeah, I, I do about the software. You know, I, I reworked it. I, I did speak. I've had a couple conversations. I spoke with Carolyn. Carolyn wants to do, I mean, not just Carolyn, but I guess seven other towns. Seven towns want to do their uh, different uh or to health software because it'll end up being free. Okay, so we could take that off. We can take the board of health complaints off. And I added all of that up with leaving everything else on. It comes to $47,430. And the issue, well, I did speak with Casey earlier and we talked, I said, well, why don't we just leave off some of the others? The problem is, is that if we put them on next year, it's below ten thousand dollars, so then it would go into each individual budget, which could be a burden on individual budgets. If I got that, did I get that correct? Case I'd put it in contracted services, Denise. Yeah, because it's a benefit to the entire town. It doesn't just because these, uh, because these different permitting areas right. intersect in the inspections yeah. department. I would just like we put the annual support in contracted services. If we did an upgrade to add these modules, I'd put it through on contracted services. And Brenda and I talked about that. Oh, so that's okay. So, so it would be a fully operational impact, not a capital impact. So we wouldn't have to add these additional modules this year then, is that correct? We could add them later. The, okay. the critical thing I think is getting the inspections module up. If we have to make cuts and adjustments, the critical thing is getting the inspections module up with whatever we need to support it. Um, particularly for the first year. In next year's budget season, if we're adding those modules for CONCOM zoning and planning, yep. then it's it's not quite at 10,000 because you don't count the annual maintenance in the capital request. So really you're looking at under 10,000, which then pulls it off of a capital request, mm -hmm. becomes an operational request. No, another another question, Casey. Um, I did speak with, I spoke with Amy about this and said, is it really, you know, the integration, is it really important for the assessor? And she said, essentially the included service will automatically import the current information from the assessors into a permit. Right, so it will I think it's critical. So, okay, so we would keep the assessors. Okay, so I yes. think, Oh boy, I'd have to redo that, but it comes to probably about thirty thousand dollars. I'd have to redo the math. I haven't done the math yet. I was going to try to do the math as you guys were talking. Yeah. So, so the the, the problem with that, uh, changing that is, you know, capital requests can't originate from this committee. Uh, okay. So they would they would have to resubmit their request. Mm -hmm. 
So right now, you know, when we spoke with Amy, the you know, we amended the request on the fly to $37,880. So we're we're gonna have to be prepared to prioritize and make a motion on that amount unless they want to modify it later. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I can probably find that out tomorrow. Okay. Because Amy and I will be here tomorrow. Because we're we work, you know, we may be close to the public on Fridays, but we work here so we could recommend up to thirty seven thousand eight hundred eighty. you could that would... and then if they do want to modify their request before the finance committee meeting next week mm -hmm. then you know okay. we can say that Perfect. the cat approved up to a certain amount you could do that yeah i'm just trying to reduce it to make it work <laughs> so we can so, yeah yeah Brenda yeah. and I have some thoughts about funding that we can talk about in a little while. I think getting through the priorities and recommendations is key. Yeah. Why don't we just leave it to 37,880 for the time being? And then if it's going to come down, That's it's pretty easy to knock yeah. it down. Right. Yeah. That's good. That makes sense, Skip. Thank you. So, like I said before, I mean, I, I really think that this is kind of like a, a number three operational importance. Um, you know, it, Anyone have any thoughts on the on the on the number? Um, we we've got a proposal I, for two and a proposal yeah. for three. I I I would tend to agree with the three, the highest priority three. <laughs> yeah. Um, just to make that clear to the finance committee. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, the others. I mean, I mean, just the whole concept of um attrition and you know stress and everything else within the town hall i'm not sure i'm just having a hard time wrapping my arms around safety as as the prerequisite for this i just think it it's such an operational necessity that it should be emphasized that it's you know it's right up there in, in many of our eyes with safety but so what I can do is in the notes, I can say high priority with mm -hmm. the priority new uh, uh, number as a three. Um, I could just say high priority operations if you want. In what we as a notation. Okay. Yeah, and I have it in my notes that that's what we agreed to last last meeting with the uh, building inspection software. So I don't know why, but. I probably Anyways. didn't transcribe it all, Ken. Sorry. That's okay. Actually, uh, yeah, I think that we said that that was going to be a three. Okay. Yep. Um, and okay. then, uh, which is yeah, um, we just didn't have a motion on it yet. So, um, yeah. So and then I think we also said um, I'm actually looking at my notes from last time. Um, we had a three for the. Um, F-350 as well. Correct. Which I think also makes sense unless anyone. Oh. Okay, so it wasn't anything down for that. Yeah. Three. Okay. Yeah, I had written the priorities okay. we agreed on at the tail end of the meeting last month. Meetings. Yeah, so. I don't think that's changed. So okay. I just updated it. Yeah. A most, can I make a motion to approve uh, in the, uh, to recommend up to 37,880? With a priority of three. All right. So the, I have a motion. We have a second. I'll second that. All right. Please. So Denise is going to second it. Any debate or discussion? No. All those in favor? Uh, we'll start with uh, Carolyn Shores Ness. Yes. Ken Cudebeck. Yes. Denise Mason. Yes. Skip Olmstead. Yes. Mark Brennan. Yes. So five zero zero. I'm updating this on the fly. So I'm working and that's why I'm doing two things. I'm running the meeting, but I'm also updating based on your votes. Thank you so much. Do you want to do minutes too? Nope. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but I can ask if we can get some support for those minutes if I have some time for uh, Alex Hershenretter to do it if you want me to. <laughs> no, we, we've to already stress. we've already got someone. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It was just... <laughs> no stress. I I give it up no, easily. Such a great job. You did a wonderful Don't job. Don't say that. Yeah, it's already been said. Should be in the minutes. It won't be. <laughs> All right. 
the next thing that we have here is the uh, highway uh, Ford F-350. That's the 2014 replacement of uh, priority three. Do we have a motion for that? So moved. <laughs> For seventy nine seventy five. Yep, we can also just do a motion to get it on on the floor to talk about too. I'll second Ken's motion. Oh, did Ken make the motion? I'm sorry, Ken. Yes, yes I said I, so. So okay. moved. <laughs> so moved. Okay. All right. So, any debate or discussion on this one? Now that we have a recommendation and a second. So if push comes to shove, which is more important, permitting software or the F-350? That's like asking to choose between your children, Skip. No, it's not. <laughs> permitting That's software. easy. <laughs> I, so we have a priority of three on this. Um, I know when Kevin, there's Kevin. Hey. <laughs> Come on. Okay, so I'm throwing my kid underneath the bus. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I seriously, I would, I would take the, um, um, the software before my truck. All right, you, you know, I, and, and I'm being straight up on it, um, because I, I see the importance of what they need, you know, um, will I struggle if I have an issue? Yeah, I'll struggle, but they're continually struggling on a daily basis, <clears throat> and I think it would make their office more efficient. Um, and actually, we'd have better records at that point. So, yeah, um, again, you know, I, I hate the. <laughs> hate to throw the kid out the window, but there he goes. Uh, <laughs> okay, that that would be my personal opinion be, between those two. May but I? We'll ask? try and catch him on his way up. <laughs> oh, Casey, you had your hand up. I do. I have a question. So, if money were no object, would you approve this? Who are you asking? Of course. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All of you. Yeah, it's part of the capital okay. plan. Yep. So if we're just looking at recommendations and priorities, which we did last year and you guys went through this and then we sort of did some talking about funding sources so that we could talk with finance and the select board when you took your recommendations to them. Um, I think this was something I heard consensus everybody say that they would like to buy it if they could. Um, and yes, it graciously, Kevin sort of throwing the baby out with the bathwater, but I think before that decision gets made in terms of a recommendation, maybe we think about um, considering it on its own merit, not necessarily in comparison to everybody, everything else. Yeah, I, I think um, you know that this is part of the uh, capital capital plan that the uh, that, that Kevin's department has, and you know I, I certainly would. Uh, you know, I certainly appreciate that you guys have such a long plan and would want to make sure that we're not putting ourselves in a position where we have to buy a whole bunch of capital, you know, every five or 10 years. I, I like that it's spread out. So, yeah. yeah. Um, any other debate or discussion on this then? No. All right. Uh, so uh, all those in favor. So Carolyn Shores Ness. Yes. Ken Cudebeck. Yes. Chuck, I think you just came. Feel free to abstain if you didn't catch all that. Yeah, I'll abstain. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Denise Mason. Yes. Skip Olmstead. Yes. Mark Brennan. Yes. So that's uh, 501. All right. Uh, Mark, I'm not putting the vote, like the, the yes, no abstain in i'm just putting a check mark for recommendation perfect okay all right um okay so the next thing we still have to recommend is the ambulance no we haven't done we, have we done the we loader sander next on mine so oh do you you've got john deere replacement oh i'm sorry the, john, the, john deere we have not made a recommendation for thank you right yes, um, yeah, that's right. Yep. Yeah. All right. So for for the loader here, uh, yeah, this one's next. Do we have a recommendation for this one, or a motion? I guess for this one. Um, you know, I'll make that motion just to move it along. Sure. Anyone want a second? Sure. 
All right. So that was Carolyn. Yep. Yes. Carolyn skip second. So any debate or discussion on this one? In terms of um, the priorities, I believe this one. We assigned a three to it the other night. Third? Oh, sorry. What, what was that? I have a three written in from the other night. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just trying to. Uh, I have a. I have a sheet somewhere that that actually had Kevin's priorities uh, in terms of the four things that he wanted. Let me see if I can yeah, find it here. That works. It's right three. there. <laughs> so the John Deere was number three for Kevin. Yeah. Kevin, is it still number three for you? That would be correct. Okay. <clears throat> you know, the only thing I want to say is is, is uh, yes, it's number three because I look at the priorities of what I've got rolling on right now. But I just wanted everybody to just you know remember that this is the third time we'll be passing it by. Um, and each time we pass it by, it's it's going to be one more year that we're going to put maintenance into what we have. And uh, this least, this next maintenance is not going to be cheap because we're probably going to end up having to break the machine in half and rebush the entire thing. That right there is probably twelve thousand all by itself. And then so, replacing all the pistons, there's probably another twenty five to twenty eight thousand. So I'm looking at probably close to 45 to 50,000 in repairs. I'm not saying that we're gonna to have to do everything next year, uh, it, you know, because I'm not trying to put a scare tactic in anybody. I just want people to be aware that, you know, it, it is it is getting really old. The transmission doesn't always go into gear. Um, you know, we have had issues with it. Um, but again, yeah, that would be, my number one is still the the, the truck that we've already ordered. Um, the Freightliner. And unfortunately, if, if, if for some reason we don't get that Freightliner, um, that truck is already sold and at, at a $65,000 increase. Um, yeah. So that's what we were told is, Hey, you know, if you guys don't want it, let me know right away. Cause I got five people almost bidding on it to get it. So, mm -hmm. um, okay. yeah. And, and that, that's how much the costs have gone up. It's absolutely crazy. So that truck right there, I just financially, I see it as we need to move forward with it because, Otherwise, we're taking seventy five, sixty five, seventy five thousand dollars and just rolling it up and throwing it in the brook, and watching it float away. Um, yeah. And then my number two would be the body, um, because again, that's a major safety issue. Um, and then, yeah, number three would be the uh, would be the loader, and number four would be the uh, the truck. Right. Okay. okay. Right. So when we go to present this next week, uh, I guess if you had to pick between the loader and the the F three fifty, it's it's going to be the loader first and F three fifty. Well, I mean, I'm looking at 325,000 compared to 79,000 or 70, I can't remember the exact number, but just shy of 80,000, you know, uh, realistically, I mean, if the money's there, you know, and you can't afford the loader, I could definitely use the truck. I mean, there's definitely okay. no doubt about it. That's why it's on the program. Put that in as but with that being said, you know, I'm, again, I'm not trying to throw off the pickup um, by any means, but you know, the, the loader, the loader is key. But if there was, if there was a deal where, you know, we really can't do the loader, but we could fund the truck. I'd be all over that. So I'm just kind of leaving that in your, your hands. Okay. Any other discussion? Nope. We, we have a motion what to recommend or what? Yes, we have a motion to recommend. Could I suggest possibly a, an amendment to the motion to recommend subject to available funds? Oh, well, I think all of these are subject to available funds. Okay. Yeah. Then just leave it as yes, then that's fine. And just yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Any other discussion? No. All right. So all those in favor, Carolyn Shoresness? Yes. Ken Cutebeck? Yes. Charles Shattuck? Yes. Denise Mason? Yes. Skip Olmstead? Yes. Mark Brennan? Yes. All right. So that one passes unanimously. So I don't mean to interrupt, but I'm going to have to apologize. I have to step away. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be if I'll be getting back, but I've got a school committee budget vote and a couple of other things going on, and uh, so I need to step away. And if I get back, I'll get back. All okay. right. Well, thank you very much Thanks, for coming, Ken. Ken. Thanks. Yep. I if I can find the button to get leave. <laughs> thank yeah. you. You're welcome. All right, so the next item that we have here, unless I'm reading this wrong again, is the ambulance. So, um, yeah, I, I, with this one, you know, I, I think that we're we're still in a, in a position where we, you know, need to figure out exactly 
when and for how much, but uh, assuming that, you know, we need to um, make a, re a recommendation for this so uh, this can get into FY 2024, I, I think we should be, you know, prepared to make a recommendation for it to, to okay. at least talk about it. Actually, the standard dump body replacement was before that, but that's okay. Oh, this one, I think we had a two and this one was recommended. We did this oh, last week, Denise. That's okay. I'm sorry, you are correct. Only 50% of the time though. So, you know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got it. All right. Well, that's an improvement. Yeah, getting better. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah. Do, does anyone want to make a recommendation for the uh, the ambulance? You voted for it. <laughs> um, I think Skip clarified that we had to have the money to yeah. vote, and I do not believe from retain earnings because we've already ordered the life. Um, you know, the cardiac monitor things, um, and we've taken out the 150, we will not not be able to do this no, out of retained earnings. According of the, to Brenda, we have over $500,000 in retained earnings. Before you, okay, hold on yeah, a second, let me grab we, Brenda. Yeah, why don't we get, why don't we get a, well, we don't need to, we don't need to, well, Let's get a motion out just so we could talk about this. Okay. So I'll, I'll make a motion to recommend three hundred seventy-five thousand dollars for uh, the Scams ambulance. I'll Here. second that so we can All discuss right. it. Okay, so now we've got some debate and discussion. So okay, you moved it. Yes, and seconded was Carolyn. Carolyn, yep. So Brenda's here. She Brenda's can clarify here. one that. thing. Okay. What retained earnings? Is it a completely spent for FY? If if we order the uh, ambulance. They're planning on a hundred thousand out of retained retained earnings towards the ambulance. If we do that, it would spend virtually all all of retained earnings, plus the cardiac monitors. That includes the cardiac monitors. Okay. Yeah. Uh, before you go away, Brenda, I seemed to me that the information that you sent to me when I asked this question a week or so ago in an email was that we had $500,000 or a little bit more in retained earnings in the uh, scams. That, that was what was certified. The 500,000? Yes. In scams? Yes. So we have, we've, we've taken 150,000 out and we're gonna take another 375 that adds up to 525,000. No. No. It does, but so they applied a certain amount towards their budget and I don't I can't tell you what that amount is at this at this moment. They planned for 100,000 towards the ambulance and 150,000 towards the cardiac monitors so that basically spent all of it. So that means there's only 250,000 in retained earnings. No, that means there's basically nothing in retained earnings if we order the ambulance. Because the, the, there's, I, I guess, Brenda, if, if I'm hearing you correctly, it's not it's not just capital that we have to account for, it's the, the, the rest Correct. of the, the, the budget. Correct. Yeah. So how much is SKIMS planning on using out of retained earnings? And what for, I guess? As I said, they've basically spent all of it, 100,000 towards the ambulance, 150,000 towards the cardiac monitors, and, and virtually the rest of it towards their budget. Okay. They're showing 200. So you weren't here when I first came in. I happened to run into Tommy Scanlon five minutes before the meeting started, and we had a little conversation. And it was Tommy's opinion that when we order the ambulance, we need to, what was the word that? Encumber. We need to encumber $375,000. That's what, yes. So where would that come from? It doesn't. Good question. That's yeah, why I recommend waiting to order that ambulance. 
until we have retained earnings again. For FY24. So until retained earnings are certified in the fall, correct? Right. So we can't order that until October 1st or something well, like that. You can order it, but then... Uh, you can't appropriate, you can't outlay the money. Well, who's going to approve the appropriation? Town meeting. Right. Town meeting can't approve something if they don't have the money for it. That's right. That's right. We can't, we can't approve this, this coming month in April because we don't have the money. Right. Sounds like it. Well, that's the way I see it. And none of the other town meetings have addressed it yet because they haven't held them. Um, I do think that they're, aren't they planning to pay for this? The other towns are planning to pay for their portion of the ambulance, right? I That's actually a question. I for don't Zoe. know what the other towns have said in regards to the ambulance, but there was the split um, after applying 100,000 of retained earnings towards it. Which leaves us with what? We, we just, I, think, uh, I think Deerfield's share was 143,000. Yeah. Right. And we we decided that um, the the boo decided to spend by the life monitors because they were at eight years. Lifespan is at 10 and it's almost it's almost two years waiting for those. So we had the 150 and that seemed to be the best investment because if one of those breaks, they can't be fixed. We can't bill at a paramedic level and we can't save people. So that seemed to be the number one priority. And then once we figure out, hopefully we can get a grant for the ambulance through the USDA or something like that. But at the moment, it's not gonna be, you know, we're not ordering an, an ambulance skip. Uh, we, we know we don't have the money. Very Sorry, just, just one thing, you won't, you oh, won't, hold get, on, hold on. You won't get an stop, argument. Stop, stop. Denise is next. She yeah. You won't get an argument what, from Reed. Skip. Look, Denise we're is having a conversation skip. here. No, no, I'm passing the floor to Denise. Bye. You were done with me, right? Skitter, you can't just interrupt like that, Skip. I wasn't interrupting. We were going back and forth. No, we're not. We're taking turns. Are you seriously going to walk out now? Yes, I am. You didn't hear that? All right. I, I would encourage you not to do that. I know you would. Too bad. <laughs> You gotta wait your turn. You're not waiting your turn, Skip. I asked the question already. Oh my God, Denise, you had a question. I do. Everybody, I had a toys. question, Carolyn. You know, you had mentioned that was it Montague that got three ambulances through USDA through the No, no, two. I'm sorry. Well, two. So do you have any idea what the timeline is for that? And can, I mean, has... Uh... Well, remember when Scott Soares came to, um, with McGovern, Jim McGovern to our meeting? Right. He said there was no money in this. Right. All the money has already been spent in this cycle. Right. But the new cycle is coming in September. That's, you know, the federal cycle. Okay. So, so if we he suggested we put the application in and get in the pipeline because IRA money might be chucked to them between now and September, but also the new money, new fiscal year money, if it was approved by Congress, will uh, be available October 1st. So we'll be in line for that grant. So if we wait, if we wait to approve this, and we'll probably have another special town meeting in when, September, October? Later on, yeah. Um, so yeah. We, I mean, is it possible that we may have any indication at that point? So, well, it it's 700, well, it's 700 days anyway. So uh, to get to receive it. So our thought was to approve this um, pending yeah. financing somehow okay and 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 so because if we bumped it into fiscal year 24 by our bylaws we have to revote it but if we approve it pending uh, you know uh, funding opportunities then then we don't have to re-meet to vote to buy it you know if we get a grant or whatever but next year we should have enough retained earnings, hopefully, certified to 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 put the order in. 
Okay. So I guess what we could do is we could either we could either not recommend it or we could amend the recommendation um, to you know pending you know some sort of um, you know I would say just pending uh, grant or pending, some other other funding yeah, yeah. P pending financial you know I mean uh, pen uh, Casey help me out pending. Um, pending having some cash yeah um, pending uh discerning a funding source or yes determining a funding source yeah so i mean make that motion um I'm, well our, our minutes walked off but i believe i made the original motion to put it so i will amend the motion um to uh, recommend this pending, uh, what, what was the funding source that we said? The USDA or pending either grant uh -huh. obtaining grants or another funding source. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Any grants well, or another good. funding source? And I, and I, I, I will second. That. I believe we lost our second, so you will second that. I will second that. All right, Denise will second. Um, any other uh, debate or discussion on this? All right, so uh, all those in favor, Carolyn Shores Ness. Yes. Denise Mason. Yes. Uh, Charles Shattuck. Yes. Mark Brennan, yes. All right, so that passes for zero, zero. All right. Did so last thing we have here, I think, is the senior housing site feasibility. Yes, and this had a priority one, according to my notes, because it's an ongoing project that had a changing cost. Yep. And this is actually, there is a CPA request for this. So the funding source would be CPA funds. Okay. We have and I believe this, this has been approved by them. I have a note from Alan, but I can't remember exactly what he said. Okay. Yeah, I make a motion to approve the senior, the 85, 85860 for senior feasibility study. And, and I'll second that, Carolyn. All right. Any debate or discussion? Just a question. Does, sure. does the motion have to be contingent on use of the CPA funds? Or does that not matter? Not necessarily. Okay. I mean, we, we could amend it as such, but not necessarily. Uh, okay. we, we're not really charged with funding, um, finding a funding source. It's just for this specific case, you know, um, I think we prioritized it as a number one, which suggests that we have pre-approved or pre-funded projects. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Any other discussion? Nope. All right. All those in favor, Carolyn Shores Ness? Yes. Uh, Charles Shattuck? Yes. Denise Mason? Yes. Mark Brennan? Yes. All right, so that passes 400. All right, so I think at this point, everything's voted on and prioritized. Yes. According to my notes, you finalized all your votes. Do you want me to give you a rundown of what Brenda and I have been problem solving or troubleshooting in terms of funding sources, just for information purposes? Sure. Okay. Um, would it... Would we have enough time to do it? Uh, I know FinCom starting in four minutes. Yep. I don't know if we want to just end it here or or we could go through it real quick. So let me let me ask a quick question. Do you and I have a I have an agenda prompt ready for the 28th. Yep. Um, do you want me to put an agenda together so you can meet with finance and the select board on the 28th to present? Yes, please. This? Yes. Okay. So the only thing I have to check is what uh, Zoom account it's on. Okay. And do you want it to be hybrid, which is what I would suggest? Yeah. Okay. So I can put that together and you guys can hop off and go to um, finance, but know that there's actually some funding source solutions that Brenda and I have talked about. So you know, you tell me if you want me to, if you guys are done and want to adjourn, go for it. I will make sure you have an Well, appointment. we have a couple minutes. That yeah, yeah. If just we like to hear. Yeah. 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 Finance starts at six though. Yeah. So I'll go through it quickly. All right. 
And the board has not discussed this. This is a caveat. This is actually troubleshooting that and problem solving that Brenda and I did today after select board meeting last night. So we have $125,000 in sales of real estate. That gets us to the penny um, for what we need for the elementary school requests of 80,000 and 45,000, okay? Um, the tennis courts. Again, I think CPA funds, just as an administrator, I think CPA funds are the appropriate use. And that's actually, this sort of backs up what the board took as a vote to ask uh, CPC to reconsider. Um, the inspection software. If the board was willing to do this, um, the actual fastest way we could get this is through ARPA funds, which are revenue replacement funds. We, ha we have committed... 750,000, which is our first tranche of funds toward various projects, some of which have been completed and some of which have not. But because everybody sees this, and this is my observation of consensus and discussion with you guys, everybody sees this as an operational priority. My suggestion would be to ask the select board to approve the use of ARPA funds for this purchase up to 37,880. Um, to move this project ahead. And that doesn't deplete the second tranche. The second tranche is about 750,000 as well. So it uses some of the ARPA funds and there is a precedent for the board to say a software purchase can fall within ARPA. Mm -hmm. So that's my suggestion and Brenda's suggestion. Um, the other thing we suggest is, well, there's two other things from ARPA funds and that is the Freightliner dump truck for 325 and the sander body for 55. And here's the reason we think, uh, here's one reason we think the use of ARPA funds is timely because we're very concerned that the federal government is gonna try to claw back anything that hasn't been used by the towns. It's been under discussion. Brenda's heard it through her association. I've heard it through STAM and a couple of other sources. Um, I think, if we don't spend the money, we could lose some of it. Okay. Because we haven't spent, I just got bills for some work, I think for the Leary lot, but we haven't spent much money. We've only spent for the survey at this point. So we're waiting for that project to happen. I know, but we're also waiting on Hamshaw to do some work on their own and get back to us. So, you know, these, these things, I think based on what I've heard you guys say, um, sort of been, been identified as high priorities or critical things. So what would happen if we did that? Um, now, the only other thing that Brenda and I talked about was the ambulance, you know. Push that off. Push that off until the fall when retained earnings comes back. Yep. Um, and so if you, if we use ARPA funds for those three items and then have CPA funds for the tennis courts, sale of land for the elementary school requests. We're left with, and I had a note and I can't find it. Um, we're left with about 300 some odd thousand dollars that 350 or something thousand dollars that we could fund the rest of this through capital stabilization. I know not, I know we don't wanna de completely deplete capital stabilization, which is why we started sort of brainstorming around what ARPA funds could do to support these projects and then what we would have left to pay for. That does not completely um, reduce stabilization. We have about 520 some odd thousand dollars in stabilization right now. Um, so it would deplete it significantly, but not completely. Was the senior housing feasibility part, of, was that a CPA request or what? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes, that's, that's CPA. And then so you got CPA for that. Hopefully the tennis courts sale of land or per, uh, proceeds from sale of land for the elementary school projects. Right. And then ARPA funds for the so, permitting yeah. software, the freight liner and the sander dump body. Right. And then and then the rest out of capital stabilization we could push the pickup truck off or do it out of capital stabilization. Yeah, that's right. In other words, everything else that's on this, we did the calculation, everything else that's on this, we could pull out of capital stabilization. 
Well, we wouldn't we wouldn't do the ambulance, right? We wouldn't do right. The, we would wait until the fall for that. And they're paying the cardiac. So really, what else is left? There's the that's it. That's, that's it. it. That's, that's it. it. So basically, Brenda, between the two of us, we think we have a solution for the funding sources. It's whether everybody supports this because the background on some of this is actually the request to do a capital debt excluded capital borrowing to cover all of this, and. The board decided not to vote. The select board voted or didn't vote on this. We have a really short timeline to turn that over if we want to put it on a local election. And frankly, brainstorming different funding sources after reviewing our accounts, this doesn't force us to do a borrowing. This does deplete some of our stabilization, but the whole purpose of capital stabilization is to purchase these things. And it allows us to kind of look at resetting the so that also pushes the question of gearing up to really educate this residents about a prop two and a half override next year where we can actually frame in to the override all the things we need so you got staff needs which are operational you've got capital needs that we know are going to keep coming forward or come we're going to keep getting them plus you've got school increases mm -hmm. and we don't have the south county ems budget in the levy limit yeah and that's pull, a key pull, piece of this is to put that, that in the cash. levy limit. yeah do it all in it one, gives you a year time. yep so this is a solution that brenda and i think is workable good plan to me so really the only thing that would go to capital would be the the uh f-350 the f-350 and the loader the and the dump body the dump body, I would the standard oh, the dump body. That's the fifty-five thousand dollar one. I would take that out of ARPA. Okay. And because again, there's there's a piece here that maybe Kevin, if he's listening, can corroborate. But I think that price changes significantly if we don't pull the trigger soon. I know it. It does. Am I right? Trigger. That that would be correct. Yeah. Thank you. Everything <clears throat> on average, um, figure anywhere between twenty and twenty-five percent is what the increases we're seeing right now. And what, so if you use ARPA saying, funds, all the board has to do is vote that. That does not require a town meeting vote because it's a revenue replacement. Mm -hmm. And that means that he can pull the trigger on that sander dump body, which is a true safety issue. We can get the inspection software press, press onboarding process started. And we actually would then have the money to pay for the freight liner as soon as it's ready. Great. I, I think that's that a reasonable like a, answer. Yeah, I mean, I hate to spend the ARPA money because we. That's but the, still preserves but the Leary lot, but the Leary lot isn't just happening fast enough. So I would rather do this and then not take the chance of losing the money. Right. So we, I we think yeah, that still loses second, a little bit of money for Leary lot. Sorry. Would we use the second tranche of ARPA funds for the Leary lot. Would that come in time? We have. So the have first it. tranche. Um, we committed 500,000 and I say we, because I was sitting at the meeting, writing the notes, we committed 500,000 for the Leary lot. It may very well cost more. Even right. if we spend this, the amount that I'm talking about out of ARPA, that still leaves us money on the table. Right. That makes and sense. And the board has not committed the second tranche really. Is, is well, we, we were thinking of doing it for the 1888 building, but that's moving really slow. Right. So is Tim coming for the meeting at six or is he just? No. Oh, okay. No. All right. I just no, it's just you and I having to decide what we're going to do. Yeah. On, but I, I would like I well, we have to, well, we have to convene a meeting and then we can debate it. Yeah. yeah. So okay. you guys have a meeting on Tuesday. Oh, okay. What's we have that? The select board's posted for Tuesday. I yeah. do think this is a healthy conversation to have in relation to what capital will present to you. Right. Yep. You too, the select board members. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to sign up? Yeah, I think it's time to I'm adjourn. I'm not going to give any, I'm not giving a damn dime back. So I'm fine <laughs> spending it on capital if if we can't get one on the other two projects. The idea was to have money for, pro, you know, one Project. time. Obviously, Leary Lot's one time. But Leary Lot is one time. Capital too. I just didn't want to float it away. Right. And I don't want to fritter it away either. I think these are critical yeah. needs. So even if the priority for the permitting software is a three, 
it still gives us incredible efficiencies if we can get it in place sooner rather than later. And again, it justifies because when you are having staff from remote or staff shortages because of whatever, yeah. you you are able to do more work efficient. More Still meet those needs. Yes. Create efficiency. Right. And there's a center and central file. So, I mean, I don't have a problem with it. It fits a definition. Okay. So this is what we thought we could do. Um, I don't have a, a like a firm calculation about what we would use out of ARPA because I haven't done that work yet. I was trying to make sure printouts were ready for the meeting. Yeah. Um, but for purposes of what capital wants to present, I think it's a reasonable plan. And I, and Brenda and I both agree. We think we could probably at least sell it to proceed with capital purchases on town meeting floor that do require a legislative body vote. Okay. All right. I think we're going to have to adjourn right. uh, since we're late. Okay. Um, anyone want to make a motion to adjourn? I make a motion to adjourn. Second. I'll second that. All right. Uh, all those in favor, Carolyn Shores Ness? Yes. Carl Shattuck? Yes. Denise Mason? Yes. Mark Brennan? Yes. We're adjourned. Thank okay. you.